Hi there! Welcome to January Favorites. As always, I have both beauty and lifestyle products to share with you this month. My beauty routine has been pretty simple. We've had a really busy January, but I do have a couple of new things to talk about and then a couple of old favorites as well. And then as far as lifestyle goes, I do have some things that I've been really excited to share with you. So as I mentioned, we had a really busy January, but for a change, it was busy in a good way. We had my parents here for a visit, so that was really nice. It always gives them a chance to escape the winter weather in Iowa and it gives us a chance to spend a nice long chunk of time with them and they get to be outdoors and we get to do different activities uh, with them that we really look forward to. So we had a great time and I'm uh, really glad that they were here and got to enjoy some of the warmer weather that we had this month. We've been a little bit unusually warm for us and that only got warmer after they left but they still got to enjoy quite a bit of it while they were here. So Getting back to my favorites, as I mentioned, I did kind of have a busy month, so I really wanted reliable looks. So a reliable look for me means an eye look that I am comfortable with, something that sort of goes with everything. So I have been really going for my Bobbi Brown Slate eyeshadow, which is what I'm wearing today. And then to pair with that, I also want a lip look that's really reliable. So I have been reaching for my Urban Decay Naked Favorites. I really love everything that Urban Decay seems to come out with in their Naked line and so their lip products are just an old favorite of mine, a standby, a go-to. I know it's going to pair well with any eye look that I want, any cheek look. So I've got the lip gloss, the liner, and the lipstick. Their lipsticks, these Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks, are just so comfortable to wear. They're never drying on the lips and so I do enjoy wearing these quite a bit but I just really like this lip combo. It is the combo that I have on today and I've had these in my collection for quite a while but I just noticed this month that uh, I just kind of kept wearing it with everything because I felt like it was just appropriate and I really like not having to think too much about it so but I did have a new product that I wanted to talk to you about I don't remember how I came across this I think I was actually looking for my Maybelline full and soft mascara and this was uh, right next to it in my Walgreens so this is the Maybelline lash discovery mascara what is unique about this is that it has a very tiny little brush and so it makes it really easy to get to all of those bottom lashes and then your inner corner lashes all the places that are really hard to get to normally so here is the brush that comes with it you can see it's really teeny tiny. I love the formula of the mascara paired with this tiny brush because it's not clumpy. It's not volumizing. It's just a really great way to coat your lashes. I wasn't sure how this was going to work out, but I took to it really, really easily. I always have such a hard time where I will glob mascara on my bottom lashes because those bigger brushes are just so hard to work with in that area. So I loved this from the first time that I used it. It is a definite repurchase for me. The other thing that I really love about it is it's really easy to go into those corner lashes on my upper eyelid and it grabs all those really easily. But I can't recommend this enough. I did pick up the very black color and you will notice that the packaging is very similar to the Maybelline Full and Soft but the tube is a little bit skinnier so um, you'll be able to recognize it that way. And I do believe there was a waterproof version although I didn't get that. That just wasn't an important quality, quality to me but I think this is a fantastic product and I'm really excited to have that now. I did have a fail and I will go ahead and mention that now because we are talking about mascaras. So I had seen an article somewhere online this past month or so where they were talking about some of Kim Kardashian's drugstore favorites and one of the products that came up was this L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I was pretty sure I had tried this in the past and not had good luck with it but I needed something new and so I decided to just go ahead and give this a try. I chose the curved brush version which I normally really like but this has been a big fail for me. The formula in this particular tube at least was way too thick and way too clumpy so I find that every time I use it you see when I pull it out I don't know if you can see that but there's just so much product here on the end of the wand and then it also gets in all of the bristles here I have to clean this off every time I use it so I think I'm going to go ahead and throw this in my empties bin. It's just not something worth finishing off for me but um, I guess a lot of people really do like this but for me it was just a fail this month. Okay a couple other things that I really liked. So this next product has now become a part of my nightly bath time routine. I love my hot baths in the evening and I like to try different soaps. As you may know if you've been watching me for a while I am a admitted soapaholic and so I really wanted 
to try this and this is the Aveeno Stress Relief Body Wash. This is a combination of lavender, chamomile, and I think this is pronounced uh, ylang ylang? I think. <laughs> Please don't quote me on that, but you know it when you see it. But this has a really, really nice calming smell to it. It's something I really look forward to each day now. I love using this in the bath. I will caution you though, if you do use this, for some reason I've noticed that it makes the surface of my bathtub a little bit slippery. So you just want to make sure you're careful with that or that you rinse out your tub very well, which is what I do after I use it. But this um, has been a reliable product for me like the other Vena products are, but I just really like this one. It is something I will definitely repurchase. I just like using it. I like the way it makes my skin feel and I really just like the aromatherapy sort of aspect of it. Okay, another beauty product that was new to me this month that I was really excited to share with you because I didn't know anything about it and I've really been impressed. So I went to Ulta and they were having their jumbo hair products on sale and I picked up a shampoo and conditioner and not knowing anything about it, I bought the Kenra Color Maintenance Conditioner and Shampoo. So I really went all in with this. I didn't know anything about it, but I went ahead and went for the full sizes. I thought I had heard good things about this in the past. I don't know if that's true or not, or if I'm making that up, but in any case, I went ahead and went for it, and I have been so impressed. Um, it's not a volumizing shampoo, but I do think that it has that property for me. It seems like my hair has been really nice and fluffy with it, and at the same time, time my hair has seemed really shiny since I've been using it. It doesn't weigh it down. It doesn't put a coating or any film or anything like that on my hair, but it does make it seem really healthy to me. The fragrance of these is not my favorite. I think the shampoo kind of has a, um, you know, kind of an artificial florally kind of smell. It smells a little bit like hairspray, nothing I'm too impressed with. The conditioner, a couple things about this. One is that it has a little bit of I almost say like a fruity fragrance. I can't quite pin it down. It's, I don't know, they're not bad. They're just not my favorite. The really unusual thing about this conditioner is that it is very thin, almost sort of watery. When I first used it, I thought that maybe there was something wrong with it. I thought this is, there's no way this is gonna condition my hair properly. It's gonna be hard to get a comb through. My hair is very ratty when it's dry, very tangly. But I was really wrong, I'm happy to say. This is almost like a leave-in treatment. You do rinse it out, uh, but it has that consistency of being really thin. So despite its texture, it's obviously doing what it's supposed to do. This is a fantastic combination of products. I'm really glad to say that these both worked out since I did go ahead and purchase the big size, not knowing anything about them. But I can say that I do recommend them and I would repurchase. I've been really impressed with this line. So getting into the lifestyle favorites, I do have a variety of things to talk to you about today. This first one, I really kind of went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to talk to you about it because it is a little bit different, kind of an odd favorite to mention, but I decided to just go ahead and go for it for better or worse. But I have an ink pen to talk to you about. And I know this is a really strange favorite, but I just needed some ballpoint pens for my house and I'm kind of picky about them. I don't really like something that's very fine. I want more of a medium thickness. I like blue ink and I like that this is retractable. I picked these up and they were very inexpensive so I didn't really know how they were gonna work out but I've been really impressed with them so much so that I went back and bought some more. These are the Papermate Profile pens. I found them at my grocery store and then I also found them at Walgreens so I guess you can get them in a variety of places but it's a very smooth writing pen and it has the thickness that I like. So I thought I would go ahead and mention it as silly as it might be. Um, pens are something that we all need to use and I really like these and I would get them again. So I thought I would just throw that into my favorites for better or worse this month. The next thing is something that I've been enjoying drinking this past month. I got a real craving for orange juice. This is not a brand I've had before and being in Florida, we have access to some great orange juice. So I can be very picky about it. And this one really impressed me. Now we have a local grove here and they make fresh orange juice. And to me, they are the best I've ever had, but it's not always convenient to go there and buy it. And I am happy to say that this is the closest I have tasted to that fresh orange juice being from the store. This is the Indian River Select brand. And I'm only mentioning it because I did go online and they showed that they were available at a variety of retailers all over the country. So I'm hoping that almost everyone will be able to find this in your juice section of your grocery store. This is the no pulp version. I don't really like pulpy orange juice, but this has an amazing flavor. I drank this entire carton or bottle of it myself. 
I absolutely loved it. I started craving this every single day. I am going to go back and get some more of it because I enjoyed it so much, but I was just so impressed with it. I was telling my husband, this is the closest to the Orange Grove juice that I have had, and I didn't know that that was going to be possible from a bottled juice. So really, really recommend this Indian River Select brand if you can find that at your store. All right, the next thing that I want to talk to you about, as I've said before, this is a really wide variety of favorites this month, but it is the shirt that I'm wearing. Now, I mentioned this in a yearly favorites, and I just want to mention briefly that I don't have any uh, relationship with L.L. Bean. I just happen to really like their products, and so I had just talked to you about one of their shirts last month, the French Sailor shirt that I really like, and now I am bringing you another one. So this is from their Supima or Pima cotton line. It is the silkiest, softest cotton line of shirts that I have ever had. It feels so good against my skin. This is the polo version, and let me just pop up here for you. It has a three quarter inch sleeve on it. So it's got a lot, nice little bit of arm coverage, which I like because I get cold so easily. It's got a nice length. It's split on the sides, but these are just such comfy and cozy shirts. They look nice because they have a little bit of a sheen to it. So while it's not a dressy shirt, it does have a little bit nicer of a look to it. I think that you could put this underneath a nice little jacket or something like that. They do have other styles of shirts in this particular fabric, but I just thought these were really worth talking talking about. And the color that I have here was sold out for a while and it came back in stock. So I was really excited to talk to you about that this month too. So that is it for my January favorites. Thank you for bearing with me from everything from shampoo and conditioner to ink pens. But as you know, I like to talk about a wide variety of things here on Living by Lynette. So anyway, I look forward to seeing you more in the upcoming weeks. And I thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you very soon. Bye-bye.